This is the BMW X4. Now I'm sure some of our viewers are wondering, what the heck is an X4? This is the sleeker, sportier version of the most successful BMW SUV, the X3. This is not the first time that BMW has taken an SUV and modified it like this. They successfully gave the same treatment to the X5, changing the roof line and adding more attitude, calling it the X6. The biggest changes over the X3 are the lower roof line, more aggressive front bumper, and the modified hatch. The front of the X4 is much more aggressive, with chunky air intakes that stretch out to the corners of the lower chin spoiler. The roof line has been dropped 3.7 centimeters, and the rear window has more of a slope to it, making it sportier, but maybe not as practical. Now you'll notice the X4 doesn't have a rear windshield wiper. The X3 does, and I have to be honest, I really missed it the last couple of weeks with the crappy weather. As well, this rear window is smaller, so visibility is a little bit limited. The hatch is power operated for easy access to the cargo area, which is surprisingly large. The only issue on space is the lower roof line might be tricky for carrying big objects, but for most daily tasks, it's fine. When you look at the X4, you would think that there's not a lot of headroom in the back, but that's not the case. To make up for the lowered roof line, they've actually lowered the seats about three centimeters, and they've really sculpted out the headliner. So even passengers that are about six feet or taller will have plenty of headroom and legroom back here. The front seats have also been lowered by two centimeters, achieving the same result. The rest of the front cabin is the same as all new BMW products they have. There certainly is a level of familiarity from one car to the next, but others might say that BMW isn't changing the way that others have, like Mercedes with their new C-Class interior. You have to hand it to BMW with this X4 and the X6. They can now make a sleeker crossover, but the functionality remains pretty much intact. Another difference between the X3 and the X4 is that the X3 has a diesel engine option, whereas the X4 only has gasoline engines, but they're very good engines. The base X4 is fitted with the same 2-liter direct injection turbo 4-cylinder that's used widely across the BMW family, and it's good for 241 horsepower. The one we have here is the upgraded engine, the 3-liter 6-cylinder, also turbocharged and with direct injection. This is still one of the best engines on the road today, and it continues to please us every time we drive it, thanks to 300 horsepower and 300 pound-feet of torque. If you've never owned a BMW before, the four-cylinder model might just be the ticket. But to fans of this brand, they should gravitate to the more powerful six-cylinder to get the authentic inline power and the sound that BMW is known for. In addition to powerful engines, the same eight-speed automatic transmission has also been carried over from the X3, as well as the adjustable chassis and the engine management system that can be controlled from the center console. This modifies the X4 from sedate to very spirited, depending on the driver's mood. Now, one thing that makes this product so good is just how agile and nimble it feels. Point it where you want to go, put on the power, and the all-wheel drive system grips the road and produces an almost sports sedan feel. This is a very rewarding crossover to drive. No wonder the X3 sells so well. There is a price to pay for a bit more style. The base X4 is $3,000 more than the base X3, starting at $46,300. The one we have here is the six-cylinder model, and it's $6,000 more than the base six-cylinder X3, starting at just under $55,000. The X4 will have a market. The X6 before it proved that people will pay a premium for something that's unique. Even though the X4 is just the less expensive X3 underneath, we all know the price of vanity. Looking for a small car? All the reviews are available on our website at drivingtelevision.com.